I needed to kind of find a way of negotiating the food environment around us. And I just found slow food is this very, very important and very interesting way of finding out about the types of food that you've got in your environment, types of food that's available to us, and just thinking about food. We're food enthusiasts, we're not food professionals. For us, it's really just trying to understand the food around us and make contacts with these small producers and possibly help them out. We're at Makola Olive Farm, which is an award-winning olive farm. Today's our first function is Slow Food Michalis Valley. It's a fundraising event so that we can get the slow food started in the valley. I farm the farm and today what we did was we put together the, the food. We've had lots of help in the kitchen and my daughter's been helping, Granny's been helping. So yes, um, it's been a fantastic day in the kitchen, getting all the food out. Um, weather's been fantastic. This is it's spinach soup and um, the ingredients, the main ingredients is obviously spinach. We've used Swiss, Swiss chard, um, which comes from our organic farm, and then milk from our Dexter cows. And um, we're going to serve it um, hot with feta on the top, and uh, it should be, should be delicious. It turned out to be delicious, if you like spinach. Some people don't like spinach, but I, I thought it, it turned out very well. I've just now I realize my dream, living my passion out here in the country, where I own and run a small little ale house, come brewery. People aren't drinking beer anymore just to drink beer as a bland product. We like to have more tastes, more flavors. There's 40% of the German wheat malt in here, and it's done with a nice Hallertauer hops. And it's this season's hop. And I've also done it with a touch of dried orange peel. So in the last 10, 10 minutes of the boil, I've added some dried orange peel. And it just brings out that little bit of the extra aroma on the nose with, mm. with orangey effect that you're getting. It's delicious. It's lovely yeah. and sweet. It will work very nicely with the food we're going to do today. Hi, Gordon. Hello, Mike. Welcome and nice to have you here Thank at you the first Slow Food Function. I'm a businessman in Joburg. This is okay. a hobby for me. We're, uh, okay. We have a nice organic vegetable garden and mm -hmm. herb garden. Mm -hmm. We have a neighbor who provides uh, lovely uh, fresh milk mm -hmm. and uh, our hobby is making cheeses and okay. relishes and uh, that's what you see on the table okay. here. That's a Montasia, mm -hmm. it's a, a, an Italian origin. Mm -hmm. This particular one is made with three different types of herbs. Um, it's a great table cheese, very versatile, good in salads, good on bread, um, can be used for anything really. We've got some local chefs here who certainly will support those farmers in the future. Uh, we've got business people, we've got high-end stockbrokers here. Um, so it's a diverse group of people, but they all have a one common goal and that's to enjoy food cooked traditionally and properly and that's been fairly produced. Yay, I've met other farmers. <laughs> <laughs> the whole idea of connecting people to where food actually gets produced is a really important piece of the puzzle. Slow food um, is, is about the quality or partially about the quality of the food that you eat. It's nice to showcase my product to them because they have a bigger appreciation for that. 